Is this Taylor Hicks? <laughs> is is that Taylor Hicks? More. What are you? What are you doing? What next? happened, Ben? Besides your your Nothing. lovely girlfriend. Nothing. Is like, it, uh, I'm Taylor? telling you. Why don't we just go to the phone? If it's not, we'll hang up on them. No, no scripts through the transom, nothing? He, he did Brown and yeah, Bubbly. You can't hire yourself. Oh. What's Brown? He did uh, Brown and Bubbly. Pepsi commercials, but that went to That's the... That's right. I did see that. I saw that. made yeah, a mistake. I saw, of, I saw that one. What was your diarrhea line that kind of blew up your I'm campaign? I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, we just heard things that you might have... Where's... where's and when's Groomsman coming out? <laughs> Where's Taylor? A couple Taylor minutes Hicks. to Taylor July 12th. Hicks. Oh, July 12th. We're not breaking. Minutes. We're just like sitting got, here. No, wait, wait. We've got go a break. It. Wait. Guys break calling in a lot of places. I thought my pilot was going to get picked up. What pilot, Jay? How'd you get that? What, what was the pilot for? What was it? Uh, NBC and uh, Sony Community Service. It was really funny and just... What was it called? Community Service. Uh, what was it about? Fish out of water. Classic oh, fish out cool, of water cool, story. Cool, cool. Uh-huh. I'm a big shot realist. Like, you got Jay. fucking did he get picked up? Fuck you. Last comic standing. You with your job. Oh, right. Last comic standing. What the fuck? Last comic standing. How the standing. hell do they bring the show back after canceling back? it uh, in the, I'm no before the last episode? I'm no longer affiliated with last comic standing, but I wish them a lot of luck. No, you don't. And yes, I do. Cause I oh, you're still production or some producer? No. I take but my name the idea it. is is like you have some kind of intellectual property. Right, came out of your balls. <laughs> the forensic spot is my ball bag. What? How do they bring a show back that they canceled before the finale? Because it's the network. They could fuck up Toast, Anthony. Are you serious? You see the Jake effect on Bravo? It's like a fucking brilliant show. Did you see it? Uh-uh. It's Jason yeah. Bateman and Nikki Cox and Kyle Gass, all teachers. Bateman's a, a lawyer that quits to teach inner city kids. And it's shot on film. And that was the year, like Jeff Zucker said, I don't like single camera. Eh, eh. Yeah. And, you just, and now it's on Bravo, and you're like, this show's like great. What is it, Bravo, like brilliant but canceled or something? Yeah. How many episodes did they do? Eight. They filmed them all, and they just never put them on TV. Another show that was on brilliant but canceled. A little show called Action. Action, Action. was awesome. Yeah, Action, my Action friend. Action was a great, great show. Uh, How many episodes? Like I'm always about shoot? five years ahead of my time, boys. Mm-hmm. How many episodes last did you shoot? Thirteen, eight aired. But one's missing. The one with Ice Cube is not on the DVD box set. I wonder why. Bastard black. We shot 13 as well. <laughs> he goes like this. I go, where's my daughter? <clears throat> and he goes, He's in your off- she's in your office with a ice cube. And I go, you left my daughter alone with a gangster rapper. And me and Buddy Hackett run in, and Hackett's got his gun drawn. And they're on the ground playing cards. And she goes, go fish. And Ice Cube looks up and like into the barrel of Hackett's gun. And he goes, what's with all the heat? And I go, oh, oh I, I'm sorry, Ice Cube. Lately, we've been having problems with, um, uh, uh, and Hackett goes, blacks. <laughs> <laughs> I go, bats. Black bats. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> well, I'm really? Blacks is funny. You fucking tell the sound meter in the room. <laughs> well, no, because then I'm going to add it to it. Black bats <laughs> kind of killed it, but I thought blacks were very funny. <laughs> 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 fucking faggot. Can't uh, help it. Let's go to Craig and Master. What the hell just happened, Let's go Lou? to Taylor Hicks. Craig, what's up? Poe po, po is full of shit. Not wow. true. There's what the no hell just way. happened, Listen, Lou? I've been, I've been fighting for Fuck 14 you, years, MMA, 14 years. No. No way you took on 12 people, my friend, are 14. Unless we're at an elementary school and it was lunchtime. Are you no. serious? Are didn't gonna... happen. Why don't you come here and put your dick in his face? That's right. <laughs> it didn't happen. Hey, didn't Fuck happen. you, faggot. He didn't. Whoa, Poe, take it easy, Poe. Whoa, whoa, po, now, whoa, this is Poe. I did that happen to me, actually. It, it didn't. It what? I did do that. That happened. It, it did not. So you swung a stick. So you took stick fighting. I'm assuming. I. S- <laughs> there, there's no. Way. I swung the it, stick. There's no, uh, there's no way. Let Poe talk. Let Poe talk. talk. I swung the stick. I kept them away. I was banging on the doors, and uh, none of them got within uh, two feet of me. It, 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 you're insane. It's insane. It, it didn't happen. I could see it. Maybe they didn't want to touch you. You're swinging the stick. I was swinging the right stick. They had the knife and the broken bottle, and none they of them got within two feet of me. Bottles. I was they, knocking they, on the door. Listen to me. Can I ask you a question? You sure can. Did they try to stab you? Did they try to stab you, or were they just like having second thoughts and you're scaring them away with your stick? The only uh, one man had the knife, and he took a swing in my direction, and I hit him with the stick, and the knife okay, fell. Okay, so one guy's doing it, and then he's with a bunch of his friends? Yes, and they were being menacing, and there was another gentleman that I believe had a knife, and he showed it, but he didn't try to attack with it when he saw the way I defended against the first one. A little, little bit more believable now, but you made Perhaps it Perhaps like more than that, gentlemen. You. 
Yeah, but no, I was only telling the story. You. And, and, and I know it's not, you know, you know as well as I do that that's impossible. I don't care if it's 14 girls, you're not going to fight them off. They have knives and bottles. It's not going to happen. The you're going to get hurt. Well, the important thing <laughs> is that I was doing battle, and they finally opened the door and let me in. <laughs> in the 7-Eleven. They wouldn't, was, uh, a true warrior. They wouldn't right. open the door. All right, man, I'm out. All right, let me in. You're a faggot. Yeah, beat it, stupid. How long are we going to wait for Taylor Hicks? I say until he honest. comes. I free. say no. What's, what do we got on Taylor Hicks? How are you on a set like what? when a guy shows up late? <clears throat> He's calling when, Ben? Happens. When? It's when? Hilarious. Now? Yeah, happens. Ben's yelling now. Was, I did two black movies in a row. You know something? Tell that gray-haired fuck Holy to shit. go fuck himself. I don't mean Taylor, I mean Billy Mac. <laughs> <laughs> he really does. <laughs> They're always late. And they got to get their wigs on. Oh, black people? What? He said black people. He said black people. Are always late? Yeah. I did two black movies in a row, and I was always like, like my call, they go, all right, we're picking you up at 6.15. I'm like, all right, I'll be down at 7. And I get there at 8, and I'd be there like fucking an hour, <laughs> like, hello, 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 hello. I'd go on my trailer, and I'd sleep, and they roll in like at fucking 11, and they'd start putting their wigs on. <laughs> no Black women wear wigs. Yeah, and you, and, just, and, and you know what? They they walk around like it's a fucking uh, like it's like it's just yeah. I got wigs on. What's the big deal? Like it's no big deal. Get, I'm gonna fuck. The, I'll punch you in the face. What are you face. doing? Why are you so, what are you coming in to grab Jay by the shoulders? You don't know me very well. What? Go over there. What? Give him a mic. What are you or doing, Bobby? What are you doing? First of all, you know what? I didn't care about the gay stuff. You interrupted what was going to be know, a great he's telling fucking a story. Black wearing wig story. He's telling a story. You come out of nowhere and go to oh, touch... Oh, buy your girlfriend a wig and have her just walk down Fifth Avenue with it and watch everyone look at her like, what's with the fucking white lady in her wig? And then everyone, you know, every fucking Florida Evans in town is walking around with the hand that they brought for James' funeral. <laughs> <laughs> damn, damn, uh, damn. Can't get a job. Let's, uh... Hey, Taylor. <laughs> hey, woo! Woo! Soul Patrol! Soul Patrol! I'm sure you're sick of saying uh, saying that by now. <laughs> Listen, I, I just want to set the set the table here. We got Jay Moore in studio. We got Kevin Smith. You ever see Clerks? Yeah. Clerks two coming out July 21st. He's in the studio. Awesome. Jay, Jay Moore. Moore was... You might know him from uh, uh, Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. Yeah. And last comic standing. Last comic standing. Awesome stuff, man. I yep. voted for you, Taylor. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, a lot of people voted for Taylor, obviously. Because once uh, the color won. girl was out, I voted for Taylor every time. I, oh, yeah. Jimmy. Well, <laughs> the uh, Mendisa? Yeah. Paris. Oh, you like Paris? She was all right, but I've always liked them a little. Darker. I want to get right to the controversy, Taylor. I read a little article about you that says uh, some of the execs aren't happy with you being uh, the American Idol because your personality isn't quite how you portray it on the air. You're a little caustic. Oh, really? That's what I read. But well, I... you know, what you see is what you get with me, you know, and that's just the way that I've that's the way I've always been and. You know, like I said, man, I'm having the time of my life, and, and what you see is what you get. See, I never doubted him for a second. Did, <laughs> uh, did you have a moment where you, you started realizing, oh, my God, I'm getting famous? Like, I mean, you guys all start out at the auditions, and then obviously the show starts. When did it hit you like, holy crap, there's a lot of people watching this show, and everyone knows who I am? I guess, you know, when I went home in um, Birmingham, Alabama, I, you know, there were 12,000 people there, and there were people that were feigning, uh, having to be escorted out on gurneys and stretchers, and, I mean, that that just is overwhelming to me, and it was, uh, it was an amazing, you know, that, that whole trip home, I guess back home, really kind of, um, it set in with me that, that how big this thing is. Right, right. Hey, did they, did they try to get you to uh, color your hair? The, the the show you know they they wanted to they wanted to see me diet or something like that but you know what man what you see is what you get and here I am you I've know? heard that sure yeah well Catherine McPhee didn't get a nice homecoming like you did she got a nice You're, big ass on her though <laughs> yeah well now she lost weight as the show went on yeah. too bad we all said you know she needed to get uh, get some cardio in hey Taylor yo weren't you all expecting Chris Daughtry. Chris Daughtry to win the whole thing and like it was no. pretty much who was going to come in second. Yeah, it was a pretty. I mean, yeah, it, can we all just kind of had that vibe? And I mean, you know, he's he's got a great voice. He's a he's a great vocal talent. And, and he's got the whole like look rocker thing you down. You like him because he looks like your brother. Yeah. No, he <laughs> looks like my brother. My brother went on this fat smash diet. I always thought that uh, the Yasmin, the, the guy with the Frodo looking guy the, with the crooked yeah. teeth. Yeah. Elliot. 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 I thought he was gonna win. Really. 
I no, had you I, picked didn't have as much from the per, beginning. Personality. No, I voted See, for the colored Taylor girl, and then when the, the colored girl was out, I voted for the for the Taylor man. Taylor had the personality, which carries uh, you a long way. Well, yeah, Elliot. Everybody in there, everybody in that competition was was talented, you know. And and Elliot was a was a great vocalist. Yeah, but he didn't have the personality. You want to know why he lost? has to have some personality, like that pig Arnold. I'll tell you why that motherfucker lost. It's because when he went home, he never took the sunglasses off. Is that and it? He looked like he was trying to be a big shot. He's like he's indoors with his sunglasses <laughs> on. Like Taylor's at the governor's mansion and appropriately awed, you know. Hey, do they own you now? Sorry. Who does? Sorry, I, I'm stepping all over. You know why? This has to move, Jay. What's so, do, do they own everything you do now, American Idol? Uh, no. I, 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 you know, as soon as I get done with the, um, as soon as I get done with the tour, and as soon as I get done with, uh, with the show, it's pretty much I'm on my own as a as a solo. What artist. if you don't live that long? <laughs> <laughs> what if you don't live that long? Then they did own you. Well, you know, um, don't we'll answer that. Happens. Don't answer that. Dude, are, you doing, messing with you. are you doing anything but sleeping with women? That's all I would do if I was in your position. You know, that's a nice thought, but I'm, uh, but uh, you know, <laughs> I've been doing so many press outlets in the last seven days. I've, oh, okay. I've, it's been hard to think about. See, our friend, we have we have a a, a girl that works here, uh, Miss Travis, and she said that like they own you forever when when once once your contract is that they own like a piece of everything you ever do. Um, you know, there are some cra contractual obligations, but everything yeah. is negotiable. You got a you got a band, right? Uh, I have a band. Well, you used to have a the band. Little, the Little Memphis Blues Orchestra, they're great. Right, now, now, how, how do they, they feel? They're they're you know what? They're reaping a little of the benefits too, you know. They they uh they were on the show performing. We were on when I went home. They they performed with me and mm -hmm. and uh you know, they're making their way as well. Do you still call it the same band or is it now called Taylor and the Replaceables? <laughs> Yeah, you would think that. Huh? It could be, you know. Uh, you no, know, they're they're really doing good, man. They're enjoying they're enjoying it. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you got to do now. What they tour you for like forever? All summer, right? All summer long. Yeah, they tour me all summer. The the tour starts July fifth, and um. And you tour with like the top twelve, but you're kind of you know the star. Is that it? the top 10 top 10 yeah and then you come out and you're like you know you tell the rest of them hey back off on the star so so uh chicken little's not going to be on tour with you guys with that bad lisp of his no nah, chicken little no nah, i don't think so <laughs> chicken little didn't make the cut didn't make the cut and is kelly pickler as dumb as uh she portrays herself on tv don't do the politically correct answer yeah, taylor you need satellite know. radio you can curse yeah, on everything satellite you can even talk like they do down don't. in bama don't tell me that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, I knew it, right? They pray the call face. Yeah, I knew it. Here comes, baby. I wanted to cuss on radio. Well, do it. Do it you now. You feel like cussing, no, Taylor? I can't. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. Because they own your ass. That's right. You got it. Is that what it is? Too many families uh, looking up to you. American Idol, you're like a uh, an idol now to America, hence the name right. of the contest. And if you start cursing, little kids are going to be cursing, so you got to watch your mouth, right? Right? Very true. Come yeah. on. Come on, motherfucker. <laughs> one more. Come on. Just one. Just shit on somebody. How, how, about, you no. just, how about you just whisper one? Nope. Just, just whisper. What about Kelly Pickler? Was she a real uh, a shit stabber or what? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm pleading the fifth on You're that pleading one. the fifth? Did she have a steady diet of black dick all night? <laughs> oh, jeez. That, that would be a negative. I hear right. Simon's a real it. fuck, right? <laughs> That'd be a positive. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that would be a positive. <laughs> so uh, where does the tour start? Um, it starts in New Hampshire. Well, I guess I'll it doesn't even matter. We don't even New have to Hampshire. talk about the tour because it's selling out. Like, oh, it's playing at the Johnny, I Love You Johnny Cakes uh, Cafe first. <laughs> and sell, yeah, sure. They're going to probably sell a lot of tickets. I right, got a couple more than that. Even yeah. though you didn't give a number. <laughs> what? I'm saying they're going to be selling out everywhere they go, man. That's a great, that's a great so, gig. I have adding, even a couple more. They're adding dates all over. Are yeah, you guys doing crazy. any New York or New Jersey venues? Yeah, of course. You go to AmericanIdol.com dot com and they'll find come? all the tour dates and yeah, can you know. Can I come to the show? All good. Everything's just gonna be great, man. Girls. I, you know, like I said, I went from um, performing in bars and and little places to to being on a stage like this, and it's a it's a dream come true for me. A lot like yeah. you. And yeah, what kind of album are you gonna do? Like a soul album, obviously. Yeah, soul man, soul album. My, my own album, my stamp of approval. You know. It's me that's gotten me here, and, and I'm not changing. Hey, I got a, a note. I'll read it uh, word for word. Publicist called. He has to move on now. Damn it. <laughs> 
I guess they're not happy with how we're interviewing. It's satellite radio, though, so that's why. She sounds like a real twat. (laughs) Publicists always do that. Publicists are usually cunts. Uh, uh, Don't you agree with that, Taylor? This is, uh, they're worried about your image, I'm sure. Well, no, I don't don't think it's, like I said, I've I've got about 15 more interviews to do, so I think they're kind of just trying to move. Fuck them. What interviews next? Fuck them in their fucking asses. They are nothing but (laughs) fucking clown shoes. (laughs) Well, you're a cunt, lady, you fucking bitch cunt. Fuck you. Jimmy, so um, we, we, that was James. Hello, <laughs> we're, we're never getting another guest again, ever, ever, ever. Oh my God, what you called the publicist <laughs> a contour. Yeah, but she did this publicist. How big could she be? You called the publicist <laughs> a contour. Well, what other kind of? And we were just starting to get. And we were just starting to get real guests. Oh, no, we you've been great oh, well. guests lately. Wow, are well. we never ever <laughs> getting another guest? You watch how the guests uh, drastically drop after today. Oh, yeah. it's Kevin's right, not though. coming back. He's doing scratch off yeah. tickets. Yeah, He's Kevin, bored with the show already. He's done three Sudoku. I will always and, come back. Uh, so, Oh, but it was kind of funny. That was funny. Yeah, yeah. that was funny. Oh, I gotta she, hear did that she again. hang up? Even, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. they hung him up immediately. She, that is an image they can't have for these people. Be real, man. That's the whole thing. That's a bunch of bullshit. Can you rewind that? I gotta hear that again. Yeah, I want to hear her Just hang like up. the last, like, 45 <laughs> seconds of the interview. They're, they're, but the guy is from Alabama. He's been working gin mills his whole life. The guy never uses the F-bomb or anything like that. Be who you are. He goes, what you see is what you get. Well, you're on satellite radio. Call someone an asshole. You're allowed. Yeah. There's a publicist hovering over like a vulture. Like, don't answer cunt that. Whore. Don't answer Jay that. Don't answer that. Them. Jimmy called her that. Jay called her a cunt whore. Well, let's listen back to the tape and see if it was Jay yeah, or Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah, listen. I be, I'll bet everything I own that it's not me. All right. I, I don't, I'll put up $40, too. Oh. <laughs> I don't have it yet? <laughs> 46 What oh. happened? Oh, it's on the computer. It takes 10 years oh, to, really? uh, to get well, the right. Who time. told you we had to go? Oh, jeez. What, what? Publicist told them. They passed it to me. I passed it to you. All right, where's Ben? And then Get Jay, Ben in uh, here real fast. called her contour. Ben's not... Ben's not ben be is happy. really... And pissed. Roland. He tries so hard to keep good relationships with the, the right, publicist. Get, get, get. Look, I've known you guys a long time. I don't care, You've had Jay. one fucking guest in three years because of Ben. That now that if Ben... Too. What? Big publicist, too. Yeah. That was a big publicist? publicist. Big publicist. We'll just blame it all on Jay. <laughs> it was who? Wait, Roland uh, books the guest on our show. Say, I don't want to. How, how, how bad was that? For I don't want to slow my career it down. It was pretty bad. Uh, it just like I have to email and say, yeah, the Damage black report. dick coming came from Jay. <laughs> yeah, blame everything on Jay Moore. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Wait, so that was a big publicist. Yeah, from Fox. Who, who does she represent? Blame it on um, Kevin Ola Smith. Fox. He's blind. All of Fox. Fox. Who do we get from Fox? Come after me. Really? All of Fox. When you think about it, who do we get from Fox? Me and my big mouth. So uh, love yeah, it. I just share an email love the same with Jay yeah. Moore. God bless you. Are you going to be able to smooth that oh, over? Yeah, I'll smooth it over. I Why are you going to say me? O and A weren't even I in the represent. studio. Same as one of the interns. Yeah, I'll say it was like, um, no homo Bobby. That was Bobby. It was Bobby. I represent. <laughs> you, I just left you... off an email. Kevin, say something. <laughs> Kevin does want to say Take anything. it in, man. The show derailed a while ago, and I'm just watching. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. How does it derail? Like, it like, true? Like, everyone always says, like, the show derails, and I'm like, when Jay's on the show, fucking gets off the tracks. Yeah, I listen bad. every day. Is there some fucking formula you guys are on that I'm not right, a part listen. of? Let's listen to the publicist. Let's see who. Uh, let's let's hear. Let's see the, where. Let's one, see where it went the, wrong. Yeah, the contour formula. What? Yeah. After you call her, she's upset. Oh, uh, what does her email say? Uh, not thrilled with the idol interview. I'm upset. What? She said uh, she's not thrilled with the interview. To please call me. Oh, oh please call boy. immediately. Don't mention my name, dude. I won't. Oh yeah. my god. I'm fucking telling you. Oh, look at Jay. He's going to kick some ass. I'll mention my fucking name. I won't. You, you better have 14 friends with you, gentlemen. Jay Moore. Jay Moore. I'll know in about a half hour if you mention my name. <laughs> Jay Moore. Oh, oh man. Jay. All right, let's listen back to the tape. Let's see where it went wrong. The last hey, gotta, where it went wrong at hello. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, word for word. Publicist called. He has to move on now. Damn it. <laughs> I what? guess they're not happy with how we're interviewing. It's satellite radio, though, so she that's why. She sounds like a real twat. <laughs> Publicists <laughs> yeah. always do that. Well, Publicists are usually cunts. Uh, uh, yeah. Don't you agree with that, Anthony Taylor? Well, this cunts. is uh, I get, usually. They're worried about your image, I'm sure. Well, no, I don't, I don't think it's... I, I, like I said, I've, I've got about 15 more interviews to do, so I think they're kind of just trying to move Fuck them. What interviews next? Fuck them in their fucking asses. They Anthony, nothing but again, fucking Anthony, clown Anthony, shoes. You <laughs> well, you're a cunt, lady, you fucking bitch cunt. Fuck you. 
Jimmy. Jimmy. So we, we, that was James. Hello? <laughs> we're, we're never getting another guest. Okay, I do right, understand. We're back live. I may have thrown in a couple. Of I will have to blame Anthony. Why? Because she was excited a riot. Yeah, she was already pretty much gone. When, I didn't when, hear when her. When Jay jumped on the pile, no, I didn't. I <laughs> you did it. I didn't hear on the, jumped on the pile. And my go, line was from back. one of go Kevin's back. movies. My line was from Kevin's Don't movie. Don't drag me into this. Sir. That's why I said it. <laughs> All right, we blame Kevin Smith first, <laughs> then Anthony. I don't even watch American Idol. I, I, there's, I, Jay Moore jumped. Oh, my God. Not even supporting the show, Kevin no. Smith. I, I, I've right, never here, seen it. Oh, we're so here, sunk. Here's the deal. Listen again. They already committed to hang up on us because of mostly because of what you said. You see how much they hate it. And then Jay Moore jumped on the pile. All right, let's go. Jay here. directly called in her. hockey. I'm the third guy in. I'm the I'm the ejection. You're the major. That's right. Yes, exactly. No. Yeah, yes. Yes. Listen again. You dropped the gloves and but I came in to help you. Listen again and just be quiet. It's satellite radio though, so she that's sounds why. like a real twat. <laughs> Publicists yeah. always do that. What? Publicists are usually cunts. Uh, uh, don't usually. you agree with that, Taylor? Yeah. This is uh, I get, they're worried about your image. I'm sure. Well, Taylor. no, I don't. I don't think it's. I, I like I said, I've I've got about 15 more interviews to do, so I think they're. Kind of just trying to move Fuck them. Like, what interviews next? Fuck them in their fucking asses. They are nothing but <laughs> fucking clown right. shoes. You well, you're a cunt, lady. You fucking bitch cunt. Fuck you. Jimmy. So oh, we, we, that was James. Hello? No. <laughs> We're never getting another guest. I have a defense. I have a total defense. You I said most. Them. I said uh, uh, they're usually, usually cunts, which didn't call her directly a cunt. And then I was talking about the other stations. Fuck them in their fucking asses, their fucking clown shoes. The other interviews. Right. And then Jay got on and directly called her a cunt <laughs> whore. So the directly. last thing she heard before she hung up was Jimmy. <laughs> no, Jay Moore. <laughs> no, she heard Jimmy. What did Jimmy say? I said Jimmy. Mm -hmm. He made it sound oh, like right. Jimmy you made said it sound all. Listen like... to the last part. Yeah. I know, you made it, and then you said Jimmy. So like, who do we blame? Jay Moore. You got her riled up. No, Anthony, no, I, I don't have a job. I, got I might not either now, soon. Well, I, I, I got two boats to sail in here. It's fine. Yeah, we got two boats. We bosses. blow one of these gigs up. one still. Go right over to the other one the again. The message right. boards say you guys going to uh, CBS yes. is an admission of the fact that you're failing. Yes, it. right, exactly. We're failing. <laughs> All right, who do we blame? Uh, it's gotta be you, the publicist. No, Jay Moore, and I'm I, I like Jay, believe me, but I'm not gonna take the blame. I said publicists are usually cunts because they are. You t We've you dealt with the them. Fact the fact of the matter, she was hanging up regardless of what anybody said. You were right, telling right. Them to fuck themselves and they're fucking. She the, didn't like the, the line of questioning. Interviews. She didn't like the line of questioning. They had more shit to do. <laughs> right. The uh, 15. I, I'd be more outraged at his bullshit answer of like, well, I got 15 more of these things to do. Yeah. I hate that corn pone kind of fucking fake niceness. Yeah, that's what I was goofing on too. Where were you? 15. Yeah, where were you? I like when to we say shit yeah. after it's all done. Yeah. <laughs> I editorialize. I'm, I'm the we, man after the fact. We needed I'm not going to jump in when the water's all bloody and shit. I'm going to look at the entrails that are left behind no, no. and then comment. Well, yeah. calling me out, I didn't do anything. We were doing well with guests, but that'll go away. That's done hey, now. Hey, can we... Um, why did that guy come over here and, with a camera crew? And oh, yeah, by the way, why in the middle of that story did that intern uh, decide uh, he was going to start... Tackling Jay. With the camcorder from 1988. <laughs> Can we? Up like he was completely dressed and he just got close. I don't know. Why don't we bring and Bobby like, in? We'll end with Bobby. Any closer? It's gonna be. A Can Bobby, you get I'll that? Stop here, then. The, uh, all right. Yeah. What do we got? We're wrapping up here. Kevin Smith, Clerks 2, July 21st. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you had fun enough I to did. come I back. I did not come in to pimp. I came in because I was staying in the city. Just for hang days. out. And cool. Just to hang out. Bobby, watch the show. Why'd you guys come in with a, a camera crew? That's great. That was it. Didn't you film Clerks on that, the original? <laughs> <laughs> That's our camera. <laughs> Bobby? I felt bad what happened with Jay, and I just want to, like, bury the hatchet. I know, you know... So what were we going to do? I don't know. Just in the middle of... in the back and tell him, you know, I'm sorry, a little whisper. Did you but notice he was doing? He was telling a story <laughs> and we're on the air? I should have been probably paying attention to that. But. You just walked in with a camera and a thing to do your bit. Well, I didn't walk in with a camera. Someone followed... He followed me. You walked know. in with a mic all loaded up and ready to chit-chat and... Well, so actually, someone, I don't know. I think someone brought me the mic, but I, you know. Who brought I, you the mic? Who uh, brought you the mic? I think someone brought it to you. didn't jump into your hands. Who, who brought you? Did you say, I'm going to go in now and make a disturbance? I saw that well, no, I, I didn't really want it to be a disturbance. All right, so do what you want to do to Jay. No, no, no. Who brought you the mic? Let's do it. Just do I it. I think it was Eric from that corner. No, I know why. I hope he wants to don't see Don't look flabby. No, Bobby, no. Bobby, just do what you have to do. Bobby, Bobby. no, don't. Just because Obi wants me to punch you because he wants it to go so far off the tracks that it's a good show again. 
It's all right, Bobby. Go. I just wanted to say, you know, it's all. Stay it's from all... over there. All right, just keep moving over. Come on, Bobby. Have some let's, guts. Do no, your it's thing. Just, let's see what kind of balls you put. Put his asshole in your face, stupid. That's right. Bobby, put on. his cock in your mouth. He has no right, respect all, for all, you. You know, it's all cool. All right. You know, I just. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll climb it. Fucking I nervous idiot. Do I lose my teeth for a moment in the sun? Fucking, he put his dick in your ear and you're just gonna wave at him? You wanna talk to him? You talk to him. He'll kill me. Then you go. Give him a handshake. You're not dying, Bobby. And I, had, I had fun playing cocker balls. Cocker, right. cocker sack. Cocker sack. It's cocker sack. That was like six I'm hours ago, right. it seems like. I think I think it's genius the, the amount of disdain in your correction. It's cocker sack. <laughs> yeah, we'll get it right. <laughs> really? How about when he showed his peach and it looked like a fucking plum? <laughs> <laughs> black man balls. I've been, to I've been told. Really did look like Vicky Lamata's eye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Roland? I'm a bum without you in <laughs> a helmet. <laughs> what'd, you, what'd you say, Father the Bride? Again? Father the Bride. Get Roland. I want to see if he smoothed things over. Don't start. Uh oh. All right, Roland's coming back in. Let's see if he smoothed things over. I I bet we're fine. I I'm sure we're fine. You right. can say. I think they have She's also got other people poor. going like, "Come on, we gotta go." You got hi, I got not because there's a moderator. All right, let's see what. But happens. they listen in on everything, right? Yeah, they do. Of course, yeah, they do. that's awful. Well, then they would have hung up the minute I said colored. Roland, the guy who books all the guests for our show. Roland, hello. How, yeah. How long have you been working here? Uh, I've been booking here since November. He's good. Jump out that window. I <laughs> represent. Yeah, it, I'm <laughs> <laughs> trying to What is our office full of helium? <laughs> yeah, well, it shouldn't be too bad. I Are guess. you high pitch, Eric? No. <laughs> No. Uh, all right, let's go. Right, it sh cool. shouldn't be too bad, though. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> we should uh, we should be fine. Where'd Bobby go? New Helium fine. Howard. That's good. Cool, cool, Robin. I invented everything. Cool, cool. <laughs> I'm taking the Howie copter out to the Hamptons. <laughs> all right, how'd it go with the publicist? Yeah, let's go. Uh, Tell him, Fred. I shot her an email. We're gonna. I'm gonna give her a call and talk to her later on. She said, yeah. "Talk to me immediately," uh, and then you so email and she doesn't pick it up. What's gonna be no. your angle on this? Yeah, what's your angle after uh, hearing the replay? Uh, I'm trying I'm to think of a good Sorry, but they're pigs. <laughs> Just say they were upset because uh, he called late. Just yeah, say he, it's out of control. It's five guys in a room. You can. It's it's fucking XM radio. You say whatever you want, and they go crazy. I don't understand why guys are conspiring on the air. Well, exactly. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? This is what you said. <laughs> <laughs> you forget you're on the air. She's like, I heard you. We've never been known for our brains. <laughs>